Alrighty, hello everyone. Today we are going to be talking about why I sold my medium Lulu puffer in beige. So if you're new here, my name is Tia and I do all kinds of videos about luxury, photography, sometimes lashes, kind of whatever, whenever the inspiration strikes and I think people will find some use or perhaps just some moderate brain distraction from my thoughts on things. Um, and so today I'm going to tell you about the first bag I ever sold. And so as I mentioned, that is the medium YSL medium Lulu puffer in the light beige or nude or whatever it is. Um, I'll throw pictures in throughout this. So I, hmm. When I bought it, I was a thousand percent pulled off course by my senses <laughs> and not my eyes. Uh, it was my hands. So I just thought that the texture and the feeling of that bag was so lovely because it's so soft. And I have been known to spend stupid amounts of money on cashmere or just anything. I shop with my hands. And lesson learned, do not do that with bags because canvas does not feel particularly nice, but I swear I use a canvas bag 95% of the time. So that was my first mistake there. So 10 out of 10 would not recommend just buying a bag because it feels nice. Um, and then the second element of this that I wish I had considered previously was the size style pairing. So what I mean by that is, if I have a big bag, chances are I'm wanting to use it on a more day-to-day -day basis. Now, on a more day-to-day -day basis, you find me in leggings and a hoodie and usually some sporty looking Canada goose jacket or like a plaid or just not screaming Paris is how we can maybe say it. Um, but if I am dressing up, usually I don't want this big bag, which I'm sure many of you can relate to, but it, I mix those two things poorly. So had I gotten that bag in the small size, where I think it's about this big, um, I would have probably used it a lot more because this was what I wanted. I wanted a nude bag, um, but I needed to either buy a nude casual bag or a nude fancy bag that was on the smaller sides because it looked silly. Again, we're getting at nuance here, but I assume that's what you're here for. Um, I had a wedding this summer and so with all of this lockdown madness, to be fair, like life is particularly sweat panty these days. Um, but we had this wedding and I was wearing like a cream dress, which did not even consider the fact that I had bought a light dress for a wedding um, until after it came home with me. So I did run that past the crew. <laughs> um, so pay attention to that if you're shopping. It was a, it was a really cute little kind of bo boho dress. Um, I did really like it. Um, and so I, with that in mind, I had a light colored dress. And so I figured, okay, like, do I want to go black? And black shoes like black bag black shoes um, but it just there was a contrast there that was not working so this was like a summer wedding it was in the mountains um, I learned there <laughs> that I probably should not have worn my super uncomfortable heels um, so perhaps I'll also <laughs> throw in some videos of me trying to scale rocks in the Canadian Rockies um, in heels because that was a sight to be seen um, but coming back to this, I decided to go with like a nice nude heel and a, a nude-ish light bag. And so the two that kind of were on, on my options list, and I was honestly pretty excited about this because it was my first time like getting to have all these bags and then like use them and style them and whatever because, I mean, going to the grocery store, we only get so much of that. Um, so... It was this one, which I will say, since then, I have bought this bag, which I will add would have been freaking perfect because it's small, but that's not what we're talking about here. Um, so I had Gucci, Marmont, shoulder bag, or the puffer. 
And so I did, um, I went on my Instagram account, I like took pictures in both, and it was like a resounding majority who were like, wear the Gucci. Because the big one, it looked like I was wearing a bag that I would wear day to day to a wedding, which would be the only time that I would be wearing clothes that would go with that bag. So I no longer have it here. I did take quite a cut on the price, but perhaps what I'm learning is that I just need to stop buying bags right now because I ended up buying the Graceful MM with the money that I sold that other one for, and I'm also going to be selling that one. It's just funny because otherwise I really like my bags, but I just have not been being as intelligent apparently with them. So yeah, basically it just, it looked out of place everywhere I tried to wear it. And so with that being said, there were pros to it for sure. Like I said, it was soft. Um, it was a very unique bag, but I will add that even within its styling, it sort of belongs to too many categories, even if it's the small one, in my opinion. So for somebody who has, um, like, fashion sense, perhaps, I'm sure they could get away with it. So like Chase Amy, um, I've seen her use this bag, and I think she does a great job of it. Um, for yours truly, no bueno. So <laughs> um, I thought that the... Like, the lambskin contrasted with the, like, puffer vibes in nude in and of itself was just a weird bag. So, with that in mind, had I gotten it in, like, a black with silver in the larger one, I probably would use it more. Um, but that being said, I would still probably use my canvas all the time because I spend a lot of time with, like, newborns, toddlers, um, dogs at the houses I'm going to, so, like my bags get scratched and attacked and messy um, and snowed on and rained on and for actually my this is again completely a tangent apparently I'm in the mood for them today uh, my canvas does actually freeze sometimes <laughs> I like picked it up because it was so cold here it was like minus 35 minus 40 and my I'm pointing here because I have my never full GM here in the canvas and it like so like became solid and hard so that was odd, but it's fine now. So obviously that wasn't a big deal, but um, yeah, it, it was a delicate bag, but a day-to-day -day size with kind of a half casual, half super fancy. Therefore, I get kind of like high fashion vibes out of it. And so if that's your deal, by all means, but like I wish... I had gotten like a camera bag or something in the similar colorway um, because that I would wear day to day in the summer. Um, I think it would be a bag that I would use kind of interchangeably with my Palm Springs Mini. Um, it would be a, would have been like, what, two thirds of the price of that one that I got. Um, but yeah, that was my experience with that very specific bag in the medium, in the beige puffer style. Um, so that's why I got rid of it. So hopefully that is helpful for you if you are considering buying this bag. I know I have gotten um, a lot of like traction on YouTube about this bag. Um, it seems to be something that people are quite interested in. So yeah, if there's other questions you have about it, reach out here or on Instagram and I'm happy to answer them. Um, but yeah, it just sat there and made me feel shameful for my poor decision making. So um, we said goodbye and hopefully it's making its new owner very happy. So I hope you all have a lovely day and I will be back with another video sometime soon.